I was 12 years old when my father bought our first PC. Command lines were very common back then. This was 25 years ago. Today, when I open a terminal, people are scared. They think I'd be a hacker or something. I tell them, no, I just do some maintenance on my Linux system. And the first answer is usually something like, Linux? I heard it is very, very hard. And then I nod. I remember how excited I felt when I downloaded the first ISO. I was about to do something sinister. I was about to delete my OS in exchange for something different, something uncommon. By the way, this got harder the last years. I had to change things in the BIOS in order to install anything. This felt like stabbing my machine with a knife to the heart. And there it was. It was light. Fast, beautiful, and so simple. All common features were there. It was not as shiny and had less bling-bling in the GUI, but it felt like... Like the time you found out that Miss Pretty McPerfect is just a boring bitch and you ended up falling in love with your best girl buddy. Because it felt right. But there was something I missed. At first, it was not so bad. I was a little distro hopper. I wanted to know what this Linux world could offer me, but I always kept coming back to the one distro that suits me. And I stayed there for a long, long time. I spent days doing my office stuff, gaming, watching videos and being creative, mostly uninterrupted. Even the system updates were waiting for me and I could do them on the fly. I rarely restarted my machine, I just didn't have to. Usually, I only shut it down when I was done with what I wanted to do and went to sleep. I often forgot to drink enough while doing things. I held my pee to the very last moment waiting for a pause, the workflow that was so gentle at first, but it started to consume me. When my colleagues argued about problems they had with their PCs and how slow their machines got and asked me, the guy who might know stuff, what they should do, I didn't understand what they were talking about. It was too late. It happened. I forgot what it was like to be a normal computer user. I became an outsider. A freak. Then, one day, I was looking at my usual gaming stuff online. And I died? Well, I never died a single time at Prime One, but I just died to the first mini boss in Echoes! This game is awesome! God, I love And then I saw it. The good old blue screen of death. I couldn't take my eyes off it. All the times we spent together. It gave me a break from work. I could reboot in peace and had a few moments just for myself. I felt like it looked at me and whispered, you can press any key to continue, but it will do nothing. And there I was, and I understood what everyone was telling me. My source of anger was gone. I had nothing to argue, too little to fix, and almost nothing to discuss with the people around me. The place in my geeky heart where that anger once lived was empty. Like the boy in the never-ending story, my wishes had misguided me to the point where I forgot what it's like to feel human. Linux is boring. Linux is hard. <laughs>